Welcome back guys, Piotrk has just updated the FSR frame generation mod for GTA 5 Legacy. They fixed the ugly ghosting effect which was produced around a fast moving vehicle with FSR frame generation enabled. They fixed it by creating an area around the car's bumper where no FSR frame generation effect will be applied. We can even adjust the size of this area via the mod menu. The default size worked fine for me. This is the update log. Now the mod supports official reshade, don't need to use a custom reshade. New method to load, reshade, remove redundant step for using reshade. Added a toggle for whether to render reshade effects before UI. Just to be clear, this mod is not compatible with GTA Online. It works fine with GTA 5 Story Mode and 5M. In this video, I'll be covering it for the Story Mode. We'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X CD processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. We'll be combining DLSS4 AI upscaler with FSR frame generation. Unfortunately, this mod is not free. You need to subscribe to PureDuck's monthly Patreon in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod file is present. Just make sure your Discord server account is linked to your Patreon. After subscribing to PureDuck's Patreon, you'll automatically gain access to their Discord server. This is PureDuck's Discord server. Just click on GTA 5 downloads under the downloads section. First, I'll show you the installation instructions for the mod click on gta 5 upscaler installation guide and yeah, this is the complete guide installation for single player first we need to have the asi loader installed then just launch the game and disable the in-game msa txa fxa settings and switch to borderless display mode set the shader quality to very high if you want to use other graphics packs such as nve or con 5 install the reshade first then just rename the txgi.dll or txgi.asi or d3d12.dll file from the graphics pack to reshade.asi. Note that the reshade.asi file in the mod zip file is just reshade version 6.5.0 binary. You are welcome to delete it if you already have a newer reshade version. Extract all contents to the game's root folder. If you don't want screen tearing, PureDuck recommends enabling vSync from NVIDIA control panel. After launching the game, you can open the reshade and mod menu by pressing the home or insert key. Extra note, if you want to use rage plugin hook with the upscaler, you need to launch the game first, then run RPH in the main menu. You can use the in-game frame scaling setting to use the mods upscaling. I'll show you this in the later part of the video. Now I'll show you from where to download the mod. Just click on GTA 5 upscale FSR3 builds. If your PC has an RTX 40 or 50 series GPU, Click on GTA 5 Upscaler DLSS 3 builds. With this build, you'll be able to enable DLSS frame generation. As I have an RTX 20 series GPU, I'll just stick with FSR frame generation. Scroll down to the end, download the latest build. This one FSR 3 build 09 hotfix 1. Fixed FSR 3 upscaling causing crashes. Click on the blue link. Download the latest version of Ultimate ASI loader from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Just scroll down and expand the asset section. Click on this blue link Ultimate ASI Loader X64. In order to use the transformer model of DLSS4, we just need to set the render preset to K. I'll be verifying the upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. I'll show you how to set up this overlay. Just copy these lines provided by Emos. Executing the registry code. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select right click open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0 like this. Click on file, save, close and run this registry file. I'll just reward the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click, open. Yes. Okay. We need to disable battle eye anti cheat in order to use Pure Dark's mod in this game. Just open Rockstar Games Launcher. Click on settings. Click on general. From here, uncheck battle eye setting. That's it. I'll show you the game settings now. Don't launch GT online. Graphics settings. DirectX version set to 11. Your legacy version does not support TX12 mode. Screen type, very important, you need to set it to windowed borderless. I have set the resolution to full HD. FXA, MSA and TXA should be disabled. 
I don't have access to TXA on my PC. Vsync off, I have maxed out the settings. Post effects set to normal, cannot disable it. Post processing effects, motion blur. Yeah, we are done with the settings. Advanced graphics, effects enabled. Extended distance scaling maxed out. Extended shadow distance set to nil. Frame scaling mode set to off. This is required for using the mods of scaling. Now just open Windows security setting. It's highly likely that Windows Defender will remove the mod from your PC. Mark it as a virus. So you need to create an exclusion for it. Click on virus and threat protection here. Click on manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. Scroll down to the end. Click on add or remove exclusions. Exclusion list will pop up. Now just click on add an exclusion. Click on folder. Just navigate to the directory where the game is installed. This is the directory in my case. Now select the games folder GTA 5 and then click on select folder. I have already done that. There's the directory. First I'll install ultimate ASI loader which is required to inject the mod into the game. Open its archive file. Copy this DLL file. De-input it. Open the games install directory. Select the game in your steam library. Right click manage. Click on browse local files. Paste the DLL file here. Now I'll install Pure Darks mod. Open its archive file. Copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Open the games install directory. Paste the mod files here. Wait for the process to complete. That's it. The mod has been installed. Now enabling hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using PureDax FSR frame generation mod but if you have an RTX GPU it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling from here. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync and low latency mode setting from NVIDIA control panel. This way, in-game FPS won't exceed your display's max refresh rate value. Click on Manage 3D Settings. Click on Program Settings. From this drop down bar, select GTA 5. Scroll down until you find Low Latency Mode setting. There it is. Just set to Ultra. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. Apply the changes. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. We are ready to run the game. Game started. Yeah, you can see the reshade UI at the top of the screen. Just press the home keyboard key. So we'll open the reshade menu. There it is. Click on skip tutorial here. Reshades FPS counter, I'll just disable it. Click on settings, scroll down to the end. Uncheck this setting, show FPS. That FPS counter is gone. There's the mod menu, need to expand it. There you go, now it's visible. When you run the mod for the first time, you will be required to authenticate the mod. You won't be able to access the mod setting. Here you'll see an authenticate button, just click on it, it will open. A browser window and will take you to Patreon's website. Just sign to your Patreon account. Patreon will ask for your permission. Click on allow. Return to the game. Now you will be able to access the mods settings. Make sure upscaling is enabled. From this drop down bar, next to upscaling type, select DLSS. Mod supports DLSS, XCSS, and FSR 3 upscalers. Quality mode, it's set to native. Preset should be set to K. This will activate the transformer model of DLSS upscaler, DLSS 4. Expand advanced settings. Check this setting, use auto exposure. It will enable DLSS auto exposure setting. Disable chromatic aberration. All settings enabled. Expand the frame generation section. First I'll run the game without frame generation. So uncheck enable frame generation and enable hard fix settings. From here you can enable show vehicle mass setting. This will display the vehicle mass on our screen. Can even adjust the size of the mask. I'll stick with the default values. 
Yeah, we are in. I am standing right outside Franklin's house. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset used is K, version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Base resolution full HD upscale to full HD resolution. This is TLA. Mod comes with the latest version of TLSS for upscaler. Yeah, here we are getting close to 110 FPS. Image quality is looking very clean. DLSS4 resolves the aliasing issue around the electrical wires in this game. Not observing any graphical artifacts around the car's bumper. Okay, I'll just enable FSR frame generation now. Open the mod setting by pressing the home keyboard key. Check these settings, enable frame generation and enable hard fix. Resume the game. Yeah, if you increased to around 180, can observe the added amount of smoothness. Not observing any ghosting around Franklin's head. This used to happen in the older versions of this mod. Okay, I'll just drive my vehicle now. Gain some speed. Just observe the car's bumper. Yeah, not observing any significant ghosting around the car's bumper. Even when driving the vehicle at high speed. But if you observe very closely, you will observe some minor ghosting. It's caused by game's post-processing effect and DLA. It's not limited to just GTA 5, occurs in almost every game. See? And show you the vehicle mass setting. Check show vehicle mass setting. Yeah, this is the area where frame generation effect does not work. That's how Pure Dark fixed the ugly ghosting effect produced around a fast moving vehicle with FSR frame generation enabled. Okay, I'll just disable this setting and show you how to use TLSS upscaling. Open the mod menu and uncheck show vehicle mass setting. Now just open the in-game settings. Go to advanced graphics. From here, we need to change the frame scaling mode. I'll just set it to 0 0.834 5 by 6 roughly close to the ultra quality preset of TLSS apply resume the game check out the DLSS debug overlay now yeah base resolution drop to 900p upscale to full HD resolution this means DLSS upscaler is working DLSS debug overlay is flickering as expected it's not a part of the game's interface so after verifying the upscaler's details just disable the DLSS debug overlay via the registry file that we created earlier. Change the camera perspective. The game looks absolutely amazing with DLA. Even with DLSS for upscaler, it's completely up to you what you want to use. Now GTA 5 Enhanced Edition produces very ugly ghosting around a fast moving vehicle's bumper. Even with just DLSS for upscaling enabled. That game does not support any frame generation technique. It's a shame. Before ending the video, I'll just show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Select the registry file that we created earlier. Right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. Right click, open. Okay, that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.